Welcome back to an exciting new video from Cambria and Bobby. In today's video, Cambria and I do a day trip to St. Augustine. On this trip, we go to a wine tasting and we get some tasty yum yums at an Irish pub. All that and more, so stick around. Oh, yeah. It's my birthday today. Ugh, turn 41. Ugh. Then again, I said that last year too. Ugh. All downhill from here. More wrinkles, more gray hairs. At least not up here, but down here, there's more gray hairs. So I'm doing, you know what, what I normally do. Get up, made myself a coffee. Still got my coffee. Um, and then I'm making sure our video that went live today is doing well and working on the next video. So pretty normal for, for uh, I guess, Thursday. And uh, maybe after this, I might treat myself and make myself a margarita. That's, I wish the sun would come out because the sun always means margarita time. Maybe that's why people drink a lot of margaritas in Florida. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a little early to start drinking a margarita. So that's why we start with the coffee. And then we'll uh, we'll play it by ear from there. Maybe that'll be a little later in the day. But, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now for my birthday. I do got a cake though, an ice cream cake. I'm waiting to have that. But I can't have that till later. Because if I break it out now, I'll probably eat the whole dang thing and uh, the kids won't get any and then they'll be upset with me because I didn't share on my birthday. So yeah. So no cake till later. No margarita, no margaritas till later. Yep, so this is 41. <laughs> well, he's at it again. Oh, heard me talking about him. Doing his little provocative laying down pose. Bailey, what are you doing? I'm trying to relax, Dad. No, you're not sleeping. I just saw you move. You really like lay laying out like that, don't you? You love this couch. That used to be Drake's spot. So now that Drake's not around, Bailey has claimed it and he loves it. He loves it because he can lay like that and still look at everybody through the door because he's facing that way. So definitely loves it. Don't you, Bailey? I definitely Big dog monster. do. Big 171 pound monster. There's nothing wrong with my weight. I am healthy. You like relaxing? You love this couch? Sure do. Yeah. Just hanging out with Dad in the in the sunroom, even though we don't got a lot of sun today. It was peeking through before, but oh well. I guess I only get a little bit of sun on my birthday. Wah, 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 cry me a river, Dad. But at least it's not cold out. 67. It's not bad. I prefer a little bit more armor for a motorcycle ride. All right, for my birthday, we got a cake. Cool. And there it is. Check out those big pieces of cookie dough. <laughs> yeah. Freya, can you believe it? Those are giant cookie doughs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at her face. She's mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> She's 
she's, she's trying to keep her eyes from going dry because she's so mesmerized. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Well, I can't get my fork. Oh, you better get it if you want some of this cookie dough. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Yeah. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. Does that look good? Can I have some? You gonna have some, Bailey? It's like if you give me it, I will take. It. So today, me and Cambria are going on a day trip, but we first got to ditch these kids. Yes. So we're taking them to Cambria's parents' house. <laughs> what? Yes, yes. But unfortunately today, looks like it's going to be raining. Mm. We got scattered showers. So right now, it's Daytona, it's drizzling. So I'm hoping the weather holds out. For the most part, our activities we have planned are inside. However, we do have to walk between Place. said activities. So that's where it gets a little ugh, poopy. As long as it doesn't downpour, we'll be fine. Yeah. Little drizzles are fine. Yeah. You can see it's a little rainy. As we drive along the river here. Foggy, rainy, cloudy. Which could be good and bad. It could mean... Less busy. Less busy, yeah. That would be nice. So, we'll see. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it looks outside. <laughs> the kids ha 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 now now we're out of here but yes thank you for watching the kids <laughs> yes. they're happy boys are just on their tablets Freya's is playing with legos they could care less on their tablets or watching streaming movies whatever yeah so they like streaming movies here because mom has a couple streaming services that we don't have. Yeah. So then they get to watch shows and movies they can't watch at home here. Yeah. So it works. So this definitely isn't always the quickest way to get to St. Augustine. It is quicker to take the freeway. But we or always... The highway. Highway, yes. <laughs> Interstate. <laughs> but we like taking A1A because it's so pretty. Well, it goes along the whole Atlantic Ocean. That's the ocean, right there. So, take A1A, part of it's hotels and stuff, but there's other parts where it's just... Beach and ocean? Yeah, it's so pretty. Even on a sh shitty day. Even on a sh not so nice day. Yeah. It does not look clear over there. Over there. It's lighter. Oh. I would call that clear if it's lighter. <laughs> I think those are just lighter clouds. Okay, I'll take lighter clouds over darker clouds. True. I know. Like I said, I don't think it's a big deal. It's not downpouring today. So, being able to go um, and fitting it in with our schedule and mom's schedule to watch the kids. Yeah, this is her only free weekend, I think, this whole month. Mm hmm. So, it works. 
and it'll still be fun. The winery got some big old tanks here. What do you think? It's got like the more bittery. Yeah, but he did say don't judge on that first sip. Take two sips. Because it does. I don't know. The mom bag, it's always huge. I went to this. I, I still got Maria, I can't do that yet. Yeah. <laughs> or you're sure you're under the sun. Yeah. Which one is this one? I don't know. I didn't hear. How is a Pinot? A what? The Pinot. Oh, it's a Pinot. You can scoot on the This is Kevin. Good. I like It's made out of old wine barrels or whiskey barrels. Yes. And then this one is number eight, that nurse white.
No, I'm saying with being so low with your ass. Oh, yeah. Yes. He might be that guy that. So, the last place we went, what was that one called again? Southern Vibes. Southern Vibes. So that was not like... It was a very hoity-toity place. Yeah, and it was not like Maine St. Augustine. This is like outskirts St. Augustine that we tried. Um, but we, I mean, we did get to try like four different wines. Yeah. And their Moscato was amazing. And the reason why. When was, I looked at the price of the bottle. It was $30 a bottle. <laughs> which... Which is different for us because we usually drink... We're not that hoity -toity. Five, six dollar bottles of Moscato. <laughs> We're too basic for that. So what really got me is that one being $30 a bottle. We got five bottles, which we'll show you later at the winery. Um, and those ran 13 to $18, I think was the most expensive one we got. And they were really good. And they were really good. So when we saw 30, it was like sticker shock compared to what we just yeah like i did. was gonna buy mm -hmm. that bottle but then i'm like 30 dollars yeah not gonna happen no so we're just it, it was a little too hoity-toity for us it was good it was a nice place but bobby and i both have the same feeling that we don't like going places that you your check is high we're not and you leave hungry. We're not hoity-toity, that's for sure. No. The flatbread was really good. It was. But it's also something I can make at home for a lot less than $15. Yeah, so now we're going to go to an Irish pub. Yeah. So, no hate on it. It was a great little place. And if that's the vibe you like, great little place. Um, just no, probably it, not for us. It was enjoyable. It was very enjoyable. But would I ever go back? No. No. So, I would say they are worth their five stars if that's the type of environment you want to go to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the winery I expected more from. Um, but I, yeah. the wine was really good so I mean I just wish it was more of a tasting and more in depth like talking about the wines like more of a tour than it was yeah yeah because they had a tour but it was a video tour and when I was in California like we went to the we went to the winery and it was hey we grow the grapes here we do all the work here so you actually got to walk around and see everything but also when you did the tasting, you got a glass. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to actually enjoy it. Basically, we just all got drunk, but that was okay because it was off duty hours and it was during military training when we were off duty. So it was fine. Because otherwise, why would I go to California? Right. Unless it was military training. So, but that's what happens when you go to training on an Air Force base. They're like, hey, we're only working this many hours, and then the rest of the day is yours. And we're like, this is weird for us, because in the Army, your training day is a full day. And we're like, oh, we can do other stuff? Oh, we got the weekends off? Are you kidding me? And yeah, we went to the, we went to wine country and actually got to sample a lot of wine. Yeah. So, it was all good but could be better could be. It, it's good for what it is they they have a high volume amount of people coming in that's where the trolley in st augustine literally you drop off of, a trolley yeah, with the people it's part of the tour so they need to be like quick in quick out figure it out the wines are good yeah okay. yeah but yeah now let's go get some real food yeah. All right. So we're walking in downtown St. Augustine. It's wet. It's wet out. Um, but yeah. So we're going to a Irish pub. But the best place to park is, I guess, at the winery and then walking. Otherwise, it's a lot harder to find parking, especially on a Saturday. So we're doing a little bit of walking in the rain. So hopefully we don't get soaked. 
so I got my coat on. <laughs> a lot of historical buildings down here. College. The college. A lot of old architecture. Beautiful. Yeah, and very neat, that's for sure. I mean, it looks neat on the outside. I wonder how the inside looks, you know. <laughs> if there's, it doesn't look like there's any window AC units on the outside, so it's probably cool on the inside. Well, it looks like this is where the tour comes through as well. And of course, always a Starbucks somewhere. <laughs> it may be in a, an old location, but always a Starbucks somewhere. Oh, we do? Uh huh. Huh. First time you and I came. Oh, wow. We're little kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, then we should be getting close to where we want to go. Because we didn't go too far off the beaten path. Woo! Oh, check out that. That's cool. Fits in perfect with this old town. All right. Oh. See, I told you, you're never too far from a Starbucks. They're everywhere. Now we're definitely in the very touristy spot. You got the uh, Lionsgate Bridge over there. Pirate ship and all that good stuff. And you can see, got the pirate ship over there and whatnot. Got a bunch of statues. Yeah, like all these buildings are historical. If you didn't know, St. Augustine is the oldest city in the US. Definitely worth paying for the trolley if you've never been here. Yeah, if, if you have never been here, doing the trolley is probably a good idea. Um, oh boy, I will walk behind them. But yeah. Very, like, narrow roads. Do not recommend driving. You're better off parking somewhere and walking like we're doing. Yeah. All right, we keep going. So there's the tequila place I was talking about, but we're gonna we got to go down that way. There you go. Irish pub. Check out this view. We got our own little fire. And look at it. It's amazing. And we're undercover, so it's perfect. We don't have to get nailed with the rain. So yes, we are at the Irish pub. Oh boy. <laughs> there you go. But that view is awesome. I love it. Oyster, oysters. Sorry. It was on this plate, but you can see our eating area is kind of small because of the fire, which is worth it because it's chilly out. But yes, we had our oysters. All right, so we had wine earlier, so I figured, eh, let's just change it up. I got a lanai mai tai. So we'll see how this tastes. It looks good. Definitely uh, give it a all. We got this. It's basically a, a variety pack of different stuff here. Oysters, clam, shrimp, fish. 
but yes, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Meanwhile, back at home. Where the heck is mom and dad? Mommy and daddy, where are they? Where are they? Bailey, come on. Tell me. Tell me where, where, are, they, where are they coming home? Come on. I'm scared. I'm scared. Where are they? I'm worried. Can you, can, can you call them? How do we get them home? Mom and dad really owe me for leaving her with me. This is ridiculous. Why did they get her? Mini donuts with all different flavors. Excuse me. Look at all this. So many choices. They make them like right, like you, you order them and they're making them as you order. So yeah, like it's fresh made on spot. At least like the donut parts, you know, probably already pre-made, but the toppings are all done as you order. So yeah, pretty neat. But we saw this place as we were walking. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, why don't I kit? You can do your own. There you go. They even have donuts for dogs. See? Doggy treat donuts. And they're hiring. If you're in St. Augustine and you need a job, here you go. As you can see, it is definitely rainy. Be a lot wetter this time. <laughs> um, so it's raining out. I'm definitely wet. I don't know. You can't really tell because my hair, but I'm I'm dripping. I'm glad I wore a coat because I was at least able to take the coat off, and I'm not I'm a little damp. But at least I'm not soaked. Not like her. <laughs> I'm wet. Yeah, she <laughs> she's wet. <laughs> I could take this off. I have a shirt underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> it actually would probably warmer even though it's short sleeves. At least there were some nice people that weren't like just smashing puddles there on the way. There were also some jerks. I wanted to have a brick in my hand. Yeah, there was some it's people like that friends. were just smashing puddles trying to get everybody wet on the, the uh, sidewalk. Because um, if you didn't know this about St. Augustine, it floods. <laughs> it doesn't have the greatest drainage. It definitely doesn't have the greatest drainage. It just, it just holds water. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me just stripping over here. <laughs> Good thing is, we got heat in the car, so whatever. I knew it was going to be a wet walk. Yeah. Try to apply in ahead by wearing a coat. And, it was still uh, a good day, though. Yeah, and at least it's at the end. It's not like we're walking to where we wanted to eat and everything. Um, I know, car. And be wet, you know? So, not too bad. Now, I just gotta figure out, but we gotta go, this is, we gotta go down. Yeah, not the lane. Yeah, we gotta turn here, because we wanna go, um, over the Lions Bridge. GPS didn't take us this way before, but we wanna go over the Lions Bridge, so I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so if you can see, oh, we just passed the day Lions, but this is Lions Bridge, and, uh, it's really pretty. It's, it's one of, the, still, it's like it's a giant drawbridge. It's one of the, the few that are still around, really. So yeah, there's a, there's a big yacht coming through. So the bridge is going up. I guess that's, you know, that's the downside of the bridge. It's a nice historic bridge. And it's fairly big. A lot of little boats can fit, you know, without the bridge having to go up. But you get a yacht going through. You know, can't help that. Nope. But yeah, this bridge tends to get busy. But this going this way um, is gonna be a little bit more scenic-y. When we were coming up here- uh, It took us like back roads, which was less congested. Well, and we, and this, that 
that road does turn into a one way only. True. So that's probably why it took us the other way. But then you miss all the historic buildings. Yeah. Like. So yeah, uh, you know, I know a series just trying to do the right thing, but <laughs> you didn't let us go over the bridge, Siri. Right. So, oh well. Yeah, we came in way over down over there, but yeah, yeah, I wanted to come on over here without the rain, but then we had to drive around the town, and that's more of a nightmare because there's some one, there's a lot of one-way streets in Saint Augustine, so mm -hmm. that kind of stinks. Oh, and the kids' donuts are wet. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're pretty wet. <laughs> they tried to be nice and bring the kids' donuts on the way back. Yeah, their boxes is a bit wet. They'll still um, taste good. Yeah, probably. Well, there's the woo boat. Probably got different people on it now, but there's a bunch of like girls, woo girls, woo girls on on the paddle boat. What's a woo girl? <laughs> Let me explain. A woo girl is a type of young woman who, like the cuckoo bird or the whippoorwill, gets her name from the signature sound she makes. Tours. Because when they are going by the restaurant, they're just like, woo! Woo! Those are woo girls. <laughs> uh. Well, eventually this bridge will go down and we'll be driving again. Alright. Got a green light again. Hopefully we can get past this part where the bridge goes up. What's that yacht doing? It's just like sitting there. You turn around. It's probably trying to get into the marina. Oh. All right. Back on the island side or beach side. they call it over here because they don't have the same like peninsula strip like we do by us. Yeah. It's a much wider thing. Yeah. Immediately after we got home these kids dug into these donuts from the, the peace love and little donuts place that we stopped at. So yeah they right away look at Freya's already having it. Freya's it good? Uh -huh. So yeah, birthday cake. I think this one's cookie good? dough. That's cherry strawberry, or cheesecake. strawberry cheesecake. Oreo, apple. I don't lemon remember. Berry. Lemon berry. Mm, yeah, they'd be the same right here. So there you go. That's uh, that's what we got. All right, so here's here's the wines that we enjoyed um, that we picked out. And these two on the end actually smell like whis uh, smell like whiskey, but are not whiskey. Um, but these are all very tasty wines that we enjoyed. Kind of, they give you a description of them all. So, and then you can, you know, like circle which ones you like and as you're doing the wine tour and everything. So pretty neat. And I got the prices too. If you want, you know, bottle, you can buy them by the case, whatever. But yeah, so that's uh, our haul from our trip. Next time we go, we want to go to... Uh, the distillery in St. Augustine. And then we heard there's a whiskey place that is supposed to be really good. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, there you go. They all want a bell. It's his dry birthday. Hey, wait. I brought honey. And if you have any questions, leave a comment with your question. Okay.